Okay, guys, what's up? It's your boy Resident Unknown, and I'm back from my uh, hiatus. But uh, I'm not going to explain it. I'm not going to do none of that shit. That's just wasting time at this point. Oh, I'm just going to say real life sucks. <laughs> That's it. But uh, what a short, quick announcement. So I hit. I hit your boy SBX up, and we might be doing... No, not we might. We actually going to be doing another video, a joint video together, but it's going to be a spoiler slash rant podcast of the Joker movie that just came out today. But besides that, we're also going to be doing two separate spoiler-free movie reviews, which explain... Which on mine, which is this one, I will be explaining my... like. What I thought about the movie, my opinions, my bias. And on his, he's going to be explaining his opinion, his bias, and what not. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Let's basically talk about it. So, without spoiling too much, uh, the to sum up the whole Joker movie, it's basically just about... It's basically just the origin, like... That's that's it. If I want to be more like technical and more movie and more like how regular movie reviewers does it, says it is it it's a descendant of the main character Arthur, which is the name for the Joker. Apparently, Arthur's descendant to madness and what made him become the Joker. That's pretty much it. And even though that's pretty much the summary of it, and that it's like self. That's pretty much summary, and it's like short, simple. The way they explained it, and the way how it went by, it, it's like they made a short and simple. They made a movie a short, simple premise, just dope ass. Actually, I can't even say short and simple premise because the movie does make you think, and it does make you question a few things. Not like not just about like no, not about the Joker. The movie doesn't make you question anything about the Joker at all. Or Ar- Joker, Arthur, it doesn't make you question him at all. It actually makes you question our society and yourself. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what the movie does. It makes you question yourself. It makes you question your sanity. And to me, this is... Before I get into that topic, I'm going to go into the regular topic. So, because <laughs> that's going to get a lot, I don't know, dark and very... So, oh my god. Alright, so... To me, the movie... The Joker movie was good. It exceeded my expectation. It showed me... It basically did a good job on describing... Why Arthur became the Joker. It basically... It basically did a good job describing... The factors... The... It described the factors. It described the fuck he did to do his first crimes that's one that's the only f-bomb that's gonna happen in this video <laughs> and i don't know like your boy Ho- juan phoenix did his thing so did robert de niro even though uh we're not gonna talk about that scene until the other podcast but uh yeah that boy he did his thing like i i i I know everybody gonna be mad at this for those who's watching this video, but um, your boy Hokan is kind of he kind of captures the psychotic, dark, creepy nature of the Joker more than Heath Ledger did. I, I said it, I said it. I was I'm gonna say in this interview, I'm gonna say on this review, and I'm gonna say on the next one with SBX, even though he mainly disagrees with me because we did talk about this shit after the movie. He he still thinks Heath Ledger is the best. I think Hokan took the crown. I'm sorry. Like, the way he depicted Joker, it's like, yo, somebody need to make sure he's okay and that he won't try to kill himself because um, the dude was, he was more convinced. All right, he was more convincing as a Joker to me than Heath Ledger was. I'm not even going to say Jared Leto. Um, he did his thing as the gangster Joker, but wasn't good enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. He, he not gonna, not gonna. I'm not knocking Heath Ledger because he did his thing too. Like, 
he showed a psychotic nature of the Joker too. He showed anarchy. That's basically both of them. They both are anarchy versions of the Joker. Because there's three very there's three variations of the Joker. There's the anarchy, there's the gangster, and then there's just the regular clown delinquent like criminal. And Hokan Phoenix Joker falls under the anarchy Joker because Damn, like I said, I was not, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but the way how the way how he reacted to how everything I don't, I'm not going to say, oh god. Just the way how he reacted to chaos. There we go. That's a better that's what I was spoiling it. The way how he reacted to chaos and he was happy about it, especially the fact that he was happy that he caused the chaos. That's Anarchy Joker, that's the Joker that we know from the Batman animated series. That's the Joker that we know from Batman Arkham Knight, or the Arkham series. Like, that's the Joker that everybody loves the most, the Anarchy Joker. And he he does a terrific job depicting that Joker. He, like, he makes it seem so creepy and just dis downright disturbing. And that laugh throughout the whole movie, that laugh, like, Jesus Christ. Brings chills down your bones. Like I loved it. <laughs> I loved every second of it. Now, I don't really have a complaint for the. I don't really have no complaints about the Joker, except for I wish the ending wasn't the ending. I wish. No, no. I'm glad the ending was the ending. The way they ended off, it was like, all right, cool. Because <laughs> it, it, I don't know if it did a fake out, but I thought a certain scene was the actual ending. I'm like, no. Do not end it here. Please show more. Show a little bit more. Do not end it here. It did it. I'm glad it showed with a show. And. Jesus Christ. That movie is just. I don't know. Alright. But now on to the personal aspect of this. Because I'm only doing this for like another two, three minutes. So. Like I said earlier. Like I said earlier along in the video, the Joker, it, so in no way, shape, or form, I, I really have to say this, because I don't know, like, in no way, shape, or form, does the Joker, in no way, shape, or form, does the Joker pretty much, uh, Makes you want to sympathize. It does not romanticize the villain. It does not sympathize. It well, it it does have sympathy sympathy for the villain, but it does not romanticize with the villain. What I mean by romanticize, it does not make you want to like. It does not make you want to like. Oh, um, how can I say this? Like. It, it lets you know, like, okay, yeah, we showing you why this is happening, and yet his, what he's going through is screwed up. But at the end of the day, we're not saying that it's okay f to do this shit if you were ever in this situation. And the movie is, it, and it's disturbingly close to home. Like, I think I've seen another movie review where this guy seen it on a show, on the first, the day before the premiere day showing and he said the same thing but this movie is disturbingly close to the this movie is disturbingly close to reality especially if somebody people who go through things like this every day like it jesus christ like like all i can say is this all i can say is even if you're not a comic book fan if you watch this movie, you're gonna feel somewhat sympathy for him. But you, and the reason why you're gonna feel sympathy because this is shit that people, this is this is some shit that people be thinking of sometimes. Like they be like, yo, well, not everybody, but some people just be like, some people just have that moment where they probably want to snap and just break somebody's jaw or murder them or some shit like that, and it disturbingly shows that, like it. <laughs> Like, he did it, but it just thermally shows. Like, this shit is... This shit hits heavy to certain people. This shit, heavy, this shit hit heavy to me, like... In the way it depicted how society can form... How society can, like, make somebody really go insane. 
Especially the certain factors that happen to this dude. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, once again, like I said, I'm not trying to romanticize the villain, but, like, the setting of the movie itself, like, the whole aesthetic of it and what's going on that surrounding Arthur is just... It it hits it. <laughs> it feels like reality because shit like this does this, and I don't think a lot of people is willing to have that conversation. That society itself is the reason why some people go to the extent that they go to. Not trying to romanticize them because you shouldn't go to that extent. You really should get help, but I think the one. This might be the only time I might spoil something, but it probably wasn't a trailer too. But it was a scene. It was a scene that's also in the trailer where he was trying to explain how he was unhappy or some shit like that. It was. It, it was one of the scenes in the trailer where he was smoking a cigarette. And he was talking to that black lady on the desk, and. Let's just say. She wasn't doing a good job, and it kind of shows that. Cause I, I, I know people. I know of people, and I know some people who probably been to a shrink, a therapist, and or even called a certain hotline, and they said none of that should help. <laughs> and that's exactly what the fuck. That's exactly what the fuck it did. It like it basically brings. I don't know. Just. I'm dragging the shit on long enough, like, Jesus Christ. All I'm just going to say is, go see the movie for yourself. Me, personally, I enjoyed it. I love the dark. I love how dark it is. I love how it doesn't hold any punches on the story itself. And I love how that, I love how the movie just literally grabs your attention from the very beginning. Like, there is, like, there is not one boring moment to that movie. Like, if you're a comic, if you're a comic book person, if you're a comic book fan... Go see the movie. If you're not a comic book fan, go see the movie anyway. Because this shit might actually hit close to home to you. <laughs> without you even thinking. And uh, one more thing before I end. One more thing. I did clarify this earlier. Even though it has a simple premise. This movie is not a movie where you can just turn your brain off. like, And just walk into the theater and try to enjoy a movie. It is a movie that will have you thinking. It it really is a movie that will have you in thought sometimes. So just it it's not a Fast and Furious or it's not a Fast and Furious. It's not a Marvel. <laughs> it's not a Marvel like movie where it's just a turn your brain off, go in there, and have fun. This it's a legit movie where you might have to think a little bit. So that's all I have to say. And if I have to give the Joker a radiant, I probably would say the same shit in the podcast. I'm going to do it later. Um, I'm going to give it a 12. No, <laughs> I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of 10 because I enjoyed the movie. There was like one setback. All the actors did incredible jobs. There was a twist in the movie that had me like, holy fuck. And that's my second F-bomb. <laughs> But that twist was like, holy crap, this dude is really insane. And, yo, just watch the movie, bro. Just watch the movie. Now, <laughs> that's all I have to say. If you're new to this channel, please leave a like. Because I'm sorry, for stre I'm sorry, but I cannot stress that enough. Leaving a like will actually help this channel grow more to the algorithm. To the alg algorithm of this damn website. And share the video to also help boost this channel up so more people can actually see this content. And hey, if you only if you don't like the videos, leave leave a dislike. Any criticism is good credit any criticism is a good criticism in my opinion for my YouTube channel. I'm trying to boost myself, trying to grow as a content creator. So yeah, pretty much. Leave a like or dislike. Comment, comment on it. Comment if you see the joke movie. Yeah, definitely leave a comment. Like let's have let's have a whole discussion about that. I'm willing to talk to certain people. I'm willing to talk to people in the comment section. And um, 
share the video, show it to your friends, especially those who are into the joke movie, show it to them, show the people who are dying to joke movie. I like to see people who don't have different who have different opinions. It uh make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon because you'll get notified when I bring you get notified when I bring some new when I bring some new heat to the channel. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in the po not podcast. <laughs> that's that's Saturday or Sunday. I'll see y'all in the live stream that's going on at 9 p.m. tonight. Peace out. Thank you.